Optimize tech for cost-effective, efficient solutions. Individualize choices over replication. Think out there because I think most people aren't necessarily looking at the downsides of GPUs. They understand it's expensive, but they feel that GPUs are a necessity if they're going to be use any kind of AI. Well, that's not the case. We can do AI perfectly fine with traditional CPUs, you know, older GPU-based infrastructure, TPU-based infrastructure, and a combination of all of the above. And at the end of the day, we're looking to back the appropriate technology stack into the problems we're looking to solve, where it's using the minimum of the hardware resources that we need, and therefore we're going to optimize the value that's coming back to the business. That's got to be key in front of you, how you're looking at this technology and how you're picking this technology. It's not what you want, it's what you need, and what you need needs to be good enough for its particular use case. And you need to keep that in mind. I think that's gotten away from everybody now. You know, looking at the, you know, very fat architectures that I'm reviewing out there, people aren't necessarily thinking about the efficiencies. They're not thinking about the cost optimization. They're just thinking about replicating the architecture that they saw at a recent conference or architecture that they, you know, are, that their peers are using when that's the wrong thing to do. You got to look at each individual problem, each individual application, profile the workload, understand the data set, figure out what you're going to do with it. Training side, inference side, both, you know, how it's going to be used, memory you need, things like that. And then pick the one that's going to uh, provide the best bang for the buck at the end of the day. In other words, something that's going to work just fine and it's going to be able to grow the application and it's going to cost you the minimal amount of money. And let me tell you, the prices people are paying out there are hugely different. And they're building the same, functionally the same, you know, small language model applications that I'm seeing with the enterprise. Some of them are spending $100,000 for the stack. Others are spending $2 million for the same stack. And basically, functionally, it's the same application. And both work, but one costs $2 million, one costs $100,000. Which one do you want to take responsibility for?